from the city of Midian, weighing in tonight at 320 pounds, this is Cabal. Well, the referee asserting his authority here as Jinx is trying to start early getting in his head. That's not going to work with Patrick Small. And there's the opponent, the big man, Cabal. The big 300 pounder. Very popular man here in Cape Girardeau, Missouri, hugging and shaking hands. All of these fans love him. He's a fun loving guy, but we've said it so many times, don't get him angry. Because if you do, there's no telling what this man is capable of. Cabal enters the ring for the opening bout here at the birthday bash. And Cabal ready for action. Jinx still out on the floor. Jinx went to the outside the second Cabal got into the ring. I think he's having second thoughts. Well, to put it mildly, Jinx is outsized in this one. And uh, Cabal, if he can get Jinx into the ring here, may put him away pretty quickly. Jinx is going to have to be on his game as far as the speed game and that kind of thing goes to have any sort of chances. Of all wanting to lock up and Jinx uh, thinks better of it, now stretching out the muscles. You could have done that in the locker room before you came down here, by the way. All in elbow tight, the center ring, and down goes Jinx. And so battling the big man head on was not such a bright idea. Well, Jinx flux fluxing his muscles. I don't foresee any muscle and fitness covers in this future. Back in comes Jinx. Well, Jinx trying to uh, bow up here and look uh, more impressive physically than he really is. I guess trying to intimidate the ball. Good luck. And once again, they tie up, and Jinx has just launched all the way to the floor. What is this? Jinx now having a conversation with one of the fans. I, I guess he figures the wrestling match is a lost cause. Hey, here comes Cabal now out after him. Jinx might be lulling Cabal into something here. I don't know. And Cabal saying, come and get me. I'll even give you a free pinfall attempt. Covers him, count of one, and that is all. And it was Cabal that lured Jinx in. Brings it back up to the center, elbow smash. Jinx brought up. Picks him up high in the air. Big body slam. Cabal with the whip now. Cabal whips him again. Back and forth goes Jinx. And a big close on. And Jinx holding on to that rope for his life. He is taking a beating out here. 
I don't know that there are too many people that are upset about that, though. A lot of people feel he's had it coming to him. Ever since his actions after Point Fest and as light heavyweight champion and then now teaming with Stephen Kennedy, all of those actions have been distasteful to say the least. Well, there's a lot of people who would like to see this young man get his come up this time. Big shoulder block from Cabal. Well, I have yet, I'm not keeping count here, but I don't think Jinx has had an offensive move in this match. Jinx is on about plan E or F right now. Another shoulder block as he tries to come up the ropes. Cabal wants him to get up. Close line misses. Whoa, Jinx with a shot right to the knee. And now he has an opportunity. He's got the big man down. He took that leg out. And he's got the big man on the canvas. Working over the leg now, the point of the elbow right in to the kneecap. Jinx now scissoring that leg, trying to keep the big man on the canvas, but Cabal gets to the ropes. Jinx just breaks a, the hole long enough for the referee's satisfaction and now goes in for a leg lace. Continues to torque the pressure on him. And again, Cabal gets to the ropes. Jinx now breaking up the hole. Argues with a referee, you better keep your mind on that big behemoth you have on the ground right now. It may be your only chance to keep him there. Again, down on that leg with the elbow smash. But this time, Cabal with forearm shots right to the chest. And now it's Cabal going to the eye. Cabal now back to his feet. Big shot right to the head, just a straight right hand. A clothesline now. Cabal picks him up onto the shoulder. Jinx underneath and clips that knee. Clips the leg from behind. Jinx climbs up to the top. Right into the iron claw. And Cabal has the claw sunk in. And Jinx taps out. Cabal wins it by submission. And he just palmed Jinx's head like it was a bowling ball. Cabal, your winner at the birthday bash.